Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today you're gonna to join me while I do some holiday baking. So the big idea here is to mix and bake four different doughs. I'm gonna be doing traditional cutout cookies, soft sugar cookies, uh, chocolate crinkle cookies, and the snowball cookies, which are also known as Mexican wedding cookies or Russian tea cakes. So I'm gonna be doing all that plus mixing all of my icings. We'll see how much I can get through today. <laughs> I also want to make some marshmallow and maybe some hard candy, so we're just going to get into it here. This is going to take a lot of focus and concentration, so I'm going to get some footage of me kind of working on stuff, but I'm going to be at this probably at least 12 hours today, and then I'll have to finish up tomorrow. So yes, I'm wearing my little baker's hat. Um, this is very, very functional actually, because this is just to keep hair out of the food, <laughs> right? So yeah, let's get into it. You guys can't see, well here, maybe I'll just show you. Here, look, I have all my recipes all lined up. <laughs> They're all taped and ready to go. And one of the things that I wanted to mention to you is that uh, for the cutout cookies, I'm gonna be following the tutorial from Ann Yorks. She is with Flower Box Bakery, and she has these awesome courses on blueprint.com. Not sponsored, they have no idea I exist, but I love that channel or that network or whatever, okay? And it's Blueprint, without an E, B-L-U-P-R-I-N-T dot com. So go check it out if you're into baking, cooking, crafts, all that good stuff. So back to what I was doing. <laughs> If you have figured out some sort of genius way to get your vanilla out of the bottle without it dripping down the side, let me know. I'm sick of losing vanilla because I buy the good stuff. <laughs> let me know. recipes right here <laughs> so hi we're gonna be really close to each other do you like my hat do you like my hat different looks for different days I could totally do that what do we have here Ugh, we're dealing with cocoa powder the last time I dealt with cocoa powder uh, you guys know where I'm going with this right <laughs> so I was getting tired I have been doing a lot of baking and I just turned on my mixer just on low and it just went everywhere it was horrible <laughs> so this time I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stirring in all the stuff first and then we'll turn on the mixer I gotta go over here for my ingredients <laughs> I just realized my apron kept falling off like it kept just flopping down so I tied it so tight so like now it's like up to here <laughs> it's uncomfortable Ugh. Ugh. oh well it's just gonna have to look funny because it's tied pretty tight now. Anyway, sorry that my apron's like right up to my throat. <laughs> what am I doing? One cup. Cool. Do you see how abundantly cautious I'm being with the cocoa powder? I don't want to clean this up later. I just don't, okay? What else? Cocoa white sugar. I know some of you who bake, you're probably like, why are you studying these recipes? I bake a lot. I actually took uh, courses, a few courses, like continuing education courses at the Institute of Culinary Education in New York. Um, yes, it's called ICE. <laughs> yes, okay, people thought that was so funny. I don't, I mean, I get it, but it's not that funny, just so you know. Um, but I just, when, especially when it comes to holiday baking, I wanna make sure everything is absolutely perfect I mean, especially the hair and the food thing, like that drives me nuts. As you can see, I even bought this huge big hat, as I said before. And as I, I mean, I clean my kitchen twice, trying to make sure nothing was in here. And even then, even then, I looked down and there was a little hair on my apron. It drives me nuts. Anyway, I just wanna make sure everything is really, really precise and good. That's why I'm studying. Back to the crinkle cookies. So a little PS to anybody who's getting these cookies in my family and my friends, if you end up getting a hair in your cookie, it's an act of God, okay? I mean, I did everything I could, just so you know.
What am I doing? <laughs> Back to my recipe. Can you see my recipe? There's my recipe. Yeah, okay. Let me get my camera angle. One cup butter, half cup confectioner's sugar. I'm gonna get these all in the refrigerator. I'm gonna take a quick break and I will come back and start baking the doughs and making royal icing. <laughs> so back in a second. I just realized that I look like Lucy from that episode with the chocolates. How many of you were already thinking that from the moment I got on camera? Leave your comments down below. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh yes! This almost looks like Grinch. Green. These are just a few little accent cookies and maybe a Grinch. Because my nephew Zayden is really into the Grinch right now, so <laughs> he's three. Such a cutie. Hi guys, it is now day two of baking and I realized yesterday that if I didn't shut off the camera and just get to work, I was never gonna get anything done. <laughs> so what I managed to do yesterday was I got all the icing colors mixed, I uh, baked almost all the doughs, I did pipe and flood a few cookies to get them ready for stenciling, um, and then what else did I do today? Oh, and then today I actually had to do the cutout cookies which I'm now going to decorate. Now, full disclosure, this is something that I just started on, so I'm practicing, that's essentially what's going on. And for the cookies, I'm gonna be sending them off to my family, so they won't care if they're not perfect. So if you're looking for a cookie tutorial, this is probably not it, <laughs> but you can hang out with me and watch as I try to decorate. I also have big goals to make marshmallow today, hard candy, because I'm gonna be using that with cookies. Depending on what time it is, I might also make banana bread and muffins. Those won't be shipped. That's just going to go in the freezer, right? So there's a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm already exhausted. I've burned my finger already. So let's just get into this and see what happens.
right guys, it is getting late. I have some more decorating to do. Some of the cookies didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted them to, but it's okay because I'm just practicing and eventually they'll get better and better. Um, I'm going to, like I said, just finish decorating a few of them, let them dry overnight. I have a lot of cleaning to do and I still have to make marshmallows so that they set up overnight and I can ship them in the morning. But I just wanted to say, Good night to everybody. <laughs> I don't know when you're gonna be seeing this, but I know it is nighttime for me. And uh, I think I was going to film me packaging the cookies. I think for the sake of time, um, I may not be able to do that. But anyway, at least we got to hang out a little bit. And this was me taking on holiday baking. You'll notice that I did not make the banana bread or the muffins yet either, but I can do those on another day because those don't have to be shipped. So. Signing off. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.